go to our uh, to the back of the trailer. We've got the hose. We want to get some water going in our water tank. Okay, so we would stretch out. All right, so our water's going. All right, take the ladder off the trailer. Then we would ladder. If you set up on a gutter, you probably want to be in between the spikes. So you don't bend the gutter all up. So what we would want to do after we set everything up, our water tanks going, debris removal, gutter cleaning, trim back any trees getting too close to the property, to the roof line. Basically, we're going to be prepping the roof. That needs to get away from the roof line so you can actually clean there. Okay, so here's the trailer. Two Honda pressure washers, eight gallons a minute. It's not about pressure, it's about the volume of water. Uh, this one I think is 3,500 PSI. This is the one I actually have hooked to the hot box. This would be the hot box here. Okay, this is what distributes my hot water. It says 3,500 PSI. I believe the setting is about 2,650 PSI. It's all about the amount of water, not pressure. Here, sure flow pump. I have two 50 gallon chemical tanks. This one over here is for the Oxy One cleaner. Um, this is where I mix all the Oxy One and distribute it through the intake here. It runs through the pump and goes through the outer and into this hose reel, okay? So, simple half inch PVC piping uh, with a ball valve on the end with a 45, all right? And you're also gonna get very good results using this tip for Oxy One applications. It's a 65 degrees at four gallons a minute. So for Oxy Seal, uh, asphalt shingle sealer, or the concrete application uh, through your SureFlow hose, you would use this, okay? What you would do is you would basically take this off, unscrew this whole piece. This would be for your proprietary roof treatment for three-year warranties and Oxy One cleaners. Basically, you've got the Teflon tape on it. Hand tighten because you're kind of working with a little bit of plastic. And if you tighten it too much, you're going to split your plastic and it's going to drip out of here. And the next thing you know, you've got white spots all over the roof from too much asphalt shingle sealer. So basically, that is your application tip with this for your Oxy Seal. And how we would do that is what we would do is we would come over here to your SureFlow pump, all right? You go to your intake, you would disconnect your intake. You would take this hose that you've got set up here. It's just got an intake thing and just open on one end. You have to connect this to your SureFlow, all right? And then you would drape this now, after you have shaken vigorously and you've used the paddle to mix the TiO2 up to get it in back into suspension, you would ultimately drop this down in here. And once this pump feeds into there, you want to let all of your stuff that you have in the line of your SureFlow, you want to let that cycle out until you have nothing but the Oxy Seal in your line. Very important. So if you've got Oxy One cleaner in your line, which 250, 275 foot is approximately gonna hold anywhere between two and two and a half gallons of material. Okay, so what you would wanna do is say you've got a fresh five gallon bucket of Oxy Seal asphalt shingle sealer. You would let that run in this tank here, getting all of your Oxy One out of it until you've got the Oxy Seal in all of your line. Once you have that, you want to recycle it into here for a little bit to make sure that that's what you have in the line. Um, then the application process starts on the roof. You're ready to go for coatings.